We are back. You know who we are. You know what this is. We're at Wednesday, Washington, D.C. The main oh, event? God. Is this the main event? Hold on now. Hold on now. It's the main event, Adrian. Okay. I need you to listen to that. Let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. Let me tell, tell you something, Adrian. The last time that I saw this man, I was compelled to put my hands on him. And not only to put my hands on him, but to do it in such a fashion that would cause Mamba Ant to be deceased at the end of the night. If I never hear this theme song, it will be too soon. That's all I'm gonna say. So if I say it for business, is all I'm saying. I'm losing. The undisputed champion steps to the stand on business. I'm ready to stand on this man's whole dead body. Is what I'm ready to stand on. Hey, you want him in a still day Do it. I'm not a professional wrestler. I'm a commentator. And that is my job. But so right, help me God. Stop acting like old wrestlers in the past and well, no wrestling holes will stop a, a, a 44 caliber revolver. I can assure you that. Get him to the highest caliber. He's a champion for a reason. He can pick which belt he wants to come out with. He's a, he's, 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 he's a myriad of things. He's a scoundrel. He's a psychopath. He's the antichrist. He's a backstabber. He's a liar. He's a cheater. He's a stealer. But one thing he's not is Curtis Jackson. I'll tell you that right now. Jesus Christ. You hear that? You hear those footsteps? You see the thing on the TLC match we have here today. If the dead man gets that one cold briefcase up there, then he has an undisputed title shot. Undertaker has not won an undisputed title since 2002. A lot of things have changed since then. But this guy is in premium shape in somehow, some way. So I wouldn't put a passion to put the dagger in this one. To somehow, some way, do what the Undertaker has done best. And come out on top. Maybe even show, I don't know, he, he's called Mama Ann out. He wanted a match. Brandon A set up a match of the highest of calibers. I don't think Mama Ann was ready for a, a, a night like this in Washington, D.C. With the American badass, Big Evil, The Undertaker. Yeah, the first time he's gone one-on-one with him. And it's in a TLC setting. I believe The Undertaker's had a match at TLC since, since well, Jeff Hardy. Well, you'll hear no sympathy from me. You'll get no sympathy from me. Because he's the undisputed champion, so he should be able to take care of any single challenge that comes his way. He wants to talk the talk, let's see if he can walk the walk against Big Evil. In a crowd chance, Undertaker. And that is the For one, in DC does something right. I mean, hey, wherever Undertaker's gonna go, he's gonna get chanted at the building. It's just nothing you can do about it. There's never gonna be Mamba and Chance on a level of there is Undertaker Chance. If I had it my way, there would be no Mamba and Chance. You had it your way, there would be Kenneth Kilgore Chance. If I had it my way, you know what? Let's just focus on the action. Big Evil sides out of the ring. Mamba and maybe looking at just a kick to the back. Gets another kick to the back. Working on the old man. Oh! Big Evil Look has seen it all. It's how it is. seen it all indeed. You are not Jeff Hardy, Mamba. Gotta stop trying that. I think he should take Please it back tell to him that personally. I, I want you to say it to his face. Actually, no. Don't say it. Let him eat Jeff Hardy. So he can launch himself off whatever Titan Con or whatever scaffolding and break his back so he doesn't have to wrestle again. That would be my Christmas gift. You're a sick fuck. Well, hatred is a very, very powerful motivator. I'll tell you that right now. You should use that motivation and let it get it in the ring. Get in the ring with him. And Mom tosses that. Right. That, 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 that. Oh, it. runs his body right into the Undertaker. Tosses the ladder out. Looks like he's not done with the dead man. The Undertaker wants to, you know, rightly so. Maybe just get that briefcase and go home. 
He is no Mayo. Save the energy for what would be the title match. But Big Evil is going to have to play prime time's game a little bit longer. You know, that's generous. But I don't think The Undertaker wants to hustle, wants to tie up with Mamba and quite frankly. I think he thinks there's better things to do. I don't necessarily agree with that estimation, for being honest. I mean, regardless of whether I like it or not, Mamba and is the undisputed champion of AWF. So you better be on your game or else we'll find a way to undercut you and then brag it in your face. Did I just hear that sentence? Oh, it's such a good <laughs> You know what? I was a little bit I was a little bit bummed out when I knew I had to be in DC today. But then I got really happy hearing that last sentence come out of your mouth. Mamba Ant, the undisputed champion. Glad you glad you finally said it. Oh! Taker throws out the undisputed champ though. Won't be undisputed for long. For that right now. Oh! Ricochet's back. Did you see a roll? He just kicked right up. If Big Evil has his way in the night, that, that world championship will be very much disputed. It will very much be an argument. You know, in my opinion, I think it's disputed right now. I mean, a lot of guys, <laughs> Kenneth Kilgore, have a win against Mamba Ant. Mm, well, not during this title run. Him. Not during this title run. Angron beat him last night, but, you know, well, last Monday. But that is the American menace. That is, you know, that's, that's, well, a, that's a high class American athlete that's going to be very hard to take down under any circumstances. American menace, maybe undisputed American champion. I mean, hey, there's talks of a new championship belt coming to SmackDown soon that Angron has already said it'll be. Oh, shit! On the ladder! He almost just got put through the mat. And ride the lightning, Mamba Ant. You're getting put in the last ride. You might just call the match. The stretchers, the ambulance, come through. Trainers, doctors, whoever you need. You need to scrape off our undisputed champion off the mat. And Mamba Ant, he's down and out struggling right now. This is probably one of the easiest things the Undertaker has ever did in his life. Mamba Ant trying to kick at him. Look at Mamba Ant like a gnat. Just being more of a nuisance to kick it than anything. Close line. Now Mamba looks like what he's going to do with it. Shifts the ladder for some reason. What's he doing here? Mm -hmm. Now he's going to start to climb. Um, Keep rolling, a fan says. You heard that then, Biscuit. Mamba sees Taker going up. There's strikes. Oh no, oh those no, oh big, no, oh no. You know, those big hands. Undertaker, one of the best strikers in wrestling history. You know, he's got that oh! boxing background. Oh my goodness. To hell with he a strike. Pure force is necessary. And Mamba Ant has had enough. And he misses that one. Taker rolls it, rolling out of the way. Oh my god! Both men crashing and burning outside of the ring. And the Undertaker has. What the hell is this? Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Do my eyes deceive me? Or do I see a walking, talking, five-star classic marching his way into this main event? You see, what the hell is he? He's not supposed to be here! Oh, well, he can go anywhere. Whoa, whoa. What's this? What the fuck? What is this? You have no words now, huh? Now the move done changed, huh? Now the move done changed, huh, AJ Gay? Now you quiet! Mama in! Grab the tech, the power bomb, JK, and Kilgore, they meet the two imposters, the two 
people who are not supposed to be here. You know, there's disdain right there. There's disdain from all the men in this ring. Undertaker just wanted a match for Mama Ed, the undisputed AWF champion. See what he's made of. And it's getting disrupted by these maniacs. You know, I agree with him having that statement. JK certainly is a maniac. But Kenneth Kilgore was just here to get his pound of flesh. But it seems like my man always has his goons on his payroll. <clears throat> Kenneth Kilgore is going to march in that ring and get what is his, whether anyone is watching the DC likes it or not. He's not supposed to be in this. Brandon A put this as a one-on-one -on -one affair. JK isn't supposed to be here either. You want to take it up with someone, take it up with the right people. This is not the way you do things. And you son of a bitch, you come here. Hey, hey, hey. Well, when he's constantly getting screwed over by management, how else is he supposed to get somebody's attention? The same way everyone else just go up the card the way everyone else has. What do you mean he hasn't been getting... He's a five-star classic. He's been beating people left and right. JK behind him. Oh, man, pounces on him. Undertaker strikes. Mama in. JK over the head of... Kenneth Kilgore waxing. Big clothesline by Kenneth Kilgore. And somehow, some way, you're gonna you're gonna defend the actions of Kenneth Kilgore. You're ready to feel all giddy, all happy, all hell. Well, and JK well, here's the thing. I don't. You know, I JK don't... had his IC title stolen, really stolen, by some thugs. By thugs. Are you really? Are you really complaining about a man who has the words like he feel and his theme strong about having something stolen from him? Oh, the irony. Cry me a river. I don't condone what Kenneth Togo is doing right now, but I certainly do understand it. When you've you been constantly cramped out, when you've been constantly cramped out and held down by management and rug from a rug after rug after rug has been pulled from under you. You have to go in a drastic measure. I don't agree with it, but it certainly is something that he has to do. Kenneth Kilgore clears out Taker and Mamba. And now he's trying to clear out JK. He does. Mamba back in. Gets it again. What the hell? The, 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 the classic Mamba and Kilgore meeting again is just woo, kick to the face. Talk about a vendetta. Talk about a disdain that Kilgore has. That Kilgore has. I'm, I'm sure Mamba and there's the same disdain, if not more, towards Kenneth Kilgore. I mean, we've seen these two. have a story to his team. Do have to, you know, when, when, when the conglomerate was afoot, Mamba did try to connect with him. I don't, I don't exactly know how that worked, but hell, they existed without hitting each other for four, eight minutes, five minutes sometimes. And that's the most they've probably gone since. Every time, it's just hell, it's just war. As war himself with that red tattoo, you know, he covered that tattoo up for a long time. He had that back in the old days, back when we first started around here with his general. And then he just started being all willy really, really proud of it again. Live cheek steals, trying to steal the steal the briefcase. He's getting mighty close. Mama Ant is gonna push him down. Catch him! I like him, Jam! He's going to the place. Whoa. Taker sends Kilgore aside. Mama Ant. Okay. Oh, we saw that earlier from a certain rock in a chair. Another one. I think Kenneth Kilgore right here is making a grave mistake. His anger is misplaced. Although, although I understand it, he's not being very oh, rational right now. He needs to focus. That's just he needs to focus on Mama Ant. If Undertaker gets that opportunity. It's, it's better for the rest of us. J.K. just sock taker in the most awful places. And then Mama Ant disrupts it. Oh my goodness. A J. Driller. No, not on Taker. Not on Taker. Wrong man. Wrong man, Machine. Wrong man. And now, Five Star Classic. Antichrist. Face to face, nose to nose. Mama in with those picks. Kicks him to the side and oh no. Kenneth Kilgore just bashed the camp's head on the top of that steel ladder. Tosses them all. Toss the side like hell. Undertaker still has a match he wants to win. He wants one has to think 
He's gonna go after everyone who's not supposed to be here. Yeah, I need a petty flex. After this a man for right now. Can't kill stops the venom. Mama Ant is clinging on for dear life. Stop the venom. Let's see what those strikes. We saw Kilgore busted out here, busted open earlier from CM Low. Busted open again. The guy is running off pure adrenaline, off pure hell. JK off the ropes, grabbed by Taker. Mamba, don't tell me. Come on now. And who is. Kick. Oh! And A Train! Going express. Take it with a table. And he's getting scooped up by Big Evil. Now I like to see that. I like to see something. Just a little bit of. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? What's this? What's this? Mama Ann is trying to have everyone where he wants right now. He's trying to create some art. Just not quite working out. Undertaker. Adds his audit to the piece. You know, Brandon A. Lope needs to call security out here. He got Kenneth Kilgore and J.K. escorted from this match. As much as I understand no, his sure. actions. I don't think he can get here. No! 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 And going to the top of the ladder. After that Kilgore was freak, sprayed. That brilliant bastard just made the, the worst. <laughs> no, God damn it. No! 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 Why? Why must God be so cruel? Why would the world never have mercy on my soul? Why? I ask why. Me, I felt the hot track. I watched me be the worst place on earth. First to watch the Antichrist yet again. Have luck be on his side. Have faith aligned. Have his destiny written in the stars somehow. And come out of this match with Victor. Kenneth Stillborn, I love you, man. But you, you made a mistake here tonight. It was because of you that Mama had me. Had both those men never come out here. The Undertaker would have sent him back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> And that's that one.